Yeah, so dark cutting, it's to do with the pH of the meat and also the meat color as well for some companies. So it's when the pH is uh, higher than 5.7, so it's a little more towards neutral, or when the, when the color is uh, meat color four or higher. So dark cutting meat is ex essentially uh, graded out of MSA grading program because uh, it's a little darker in color and, and you can see this one here on the right hand side but color is one of the primary things that consumers use to discriminate against meat. Uh, the, the higher pH also allows the um, bacteria to grow a little more and we have very long shelf life on Australian product uh, that goes export and, it's once, and certainly food safety is a really important thing and so the higher pH allows that bacteria to grow a little quicker uh, we certainly don't want that in our, in our export products. And it's also very difficult to cook right. A high pH piece of meat uh, is always a score or two lower when it's cooked to exactly the same internal temperature. So really difficult for our chefs around the world. The uh, dark cutting meat is caused by low muscle glycogen at the time of slaughter. So glycogen is the uh, muscle sugar and uh, it is converted after, after uh, harvesting into lactic acid and that drops the pH uh, from when they're alive at a pH of seven or very neutral down to an ultimate level that we want below 5.7. It's very difficult to determine if cattle have enough glycogen in their muscle on farm, but the key thing we can do is make sure that they've got really good nutrition. So nutrition is king uh, for reducing dark cutting and the way we can determine that is uh, if they're growing. So around that seven, 800 or, or a kilo uh, of growth a day is, is really, really good indicator that their muscle glycogen is full at the time you disturb them uh, for mustering. The concentration of glycogen at the time of slaughter is the result of uh, muscle glycogen that they have when they're on farm minus what they use during that pre-slaughter period. So glycogen is used to give the muscle energy. So anything that needs energy like uh, stress and exercise will burn that muscle glycogen in the period before slaughter. And we can't avoid mustering the animals, uh, yarding them, loading them, uh, trucking them to the abattoir and then unloading them. We can't avoid all of those uh, levels of exercise and there's also some uh, stress that goes with that, you know, in changing environments, uh, meeting new people, meeting new cows, get, having new experiences like going onto a truck. The impact of dark cutting can be felt right across the supply chain from on farm to the processor as well. And that's why it's really important to have this integrated approach in, in reducing dark cutting right across the value chain. So a carcass is graded using a, a pH meter, and that's an approved by Ausmeat to, to measure the pH in meat, and also using these Ausmeat chips. So we classify these three here, of four, five, and six, as being too high, and that's because color is discriminated against by the consumer on the retail shelf. So we want to get these out of our high quality uh, branded product, and anything here in this range from 1B through to 3, this is in the uh, color range that uh, consumers say is ideal and they, and they pick up off the retail shelf. Uh, maximizing the muscle glycogen on farm and through good nutrition is our best way to minimize dark cutting. NH Foods is partnered with Meat and Livestock Australia to produce a series of short, informative videos focusing on animal health. The goal of these videos is to show a link between improved animal health and increased on-farm profitability. To access your animal's health data, visit the Livestock Data Link website.